Hey there, and welcome back to my community. I'm Rebecca Zung, and today we're going to be talking about five life skills that a narcissist just cannot master. You think that they are so tough. You think that they're so confident. I cannot tell you how many times I have spoken to a person and they think, oh my gosh, you haven't seen this person. You haven't seen my business partner. You haven't seen my ex. You haven't seen this. La, 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 la. I know what you think. And I know how disempowering you can feel when you go up against them in negotiations. But I'm telling you, that there are skills that they cannot master and they feel very small inside. They feel the most pain. They feel the most shame. And that is why when you go to communicate with them, when you go to negotiate with them, there are ways that you can build strategy. You can build leverage. You can be the most authentic, the most powerful version of yourself. And you can have the life that you want to have. I know because I've built it for myself and I help people build that every single day. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, join our community of empowered individuals. And the very first thing that they don't know how to do, that they never know how to do is boundaries. Believe me, they want boundaries for themselves. They don't want you to come near them. They definitely don't want you in their inner world at all, but you are never allowed to have boundaries. They want inside everything that you're doing. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know what you're up to at all times. They want to cross your boundaries. They show up everywhere you are. They want to know what's going on inside of you. Let me tell you a cornerstone of healthy relationships is respect, respecting who you are, respecting that you are a human being, respecting if you are asking to please honor what I'm asking you to do, honor who I am as a business partner, as a boss, as a, as a wife, as a mother, as a whatever. Narcissists struggle with this fundamental concept because they don't see you as a person. They see you as somebody that belongs to them as almost as a possession. And when you assert a boundary, they react with indignation, completely disregarding your needs. Why is boundary setting so much of a challenge for them? It boils down to their inherent need for control and validation. And they see boundaries as obstacles to their need for dominance, their need for that control. And it's that scarcity mentality. If a spouse asks a narcissistic partner for alone time, the narcissist reacts with anger and guilt tripping and refusing to respect and honor that request. So healthy boundaries perpetuates that cycle of control and manipulation. So that's boundaries. The next one is empathy, the ability to understand and, and share the feelings of another. Empathy fosters connection and compassion. Narcissists struggle with that. They struggle to grasp with the significance of that. The self-natured way of being of narcissists is just completely counter to what it is to be an empath. Really feeling genuine emotions for another human being and having that connection with another human being and leading to true understanding and validation in relationships they don't have that. They're not going to allow you in. And so there's that glaring absence of empathy. They can mimic it. You can teach them to go, oh, this is what it looks like. These are the things that you're going to say, or these are the things that one does, but they don't actually feel it here. And you know that you can feel that they invalidate your emotions constantly interrupting you by 
ignoring you, by not acknowledging you, not acknowledging your pain. And so it, it ends up making you feel less than and unworthy and disempowered. If you agree, just put totally in the comments, just put totally in the comments if you feel that way. And just know that that's not you. It's not you. And if you're feeling that way, please join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. And we have a link to it below. If you're starting to negotiate with somebody who's like this, grab my free Crush My Negotiation Prep Worksheet at winmynegotiation.com, winmynegotiation.com. The next one is accountability. Willingness to take responsibility for one's actions is totally counter to what a narcissist is, right? It's such an alien concept and it re requires humility. It requires self-reflection and they excel at blame shifting instead in minimizing their own wrongdoing, putting the responsibility on anybody other than themselves. This is gaslighting. Oh, I didn't say that. I didn't do that. It was you. It was somebody else holding that narcissist accountable is a complete uphill battle. They'll interrupt you. This isn't a good time. What are you saying? They manipulate, they'll do anything they can to avoid facing the consequences of their own actions, leaving you feeling frustrated, leaving you feeling invalidated. And so, it, you know, if a coworker doesn't get something done on time, they refuse to take accountability, it damages the entire team's dynamics, it impedes progress. It impedes trust. It costs everybody more money. It costs everybody more time. The next one is compromise. Let's talk about compromise. The art of finding common ground, reaching mutually beneficial solutions. Compromise is essential for healthy relationships. There's no compromise. It's like there's no crying in baseball. There's no compromise in dealing with a narcissist, right? And struggling to get anybody's needs felt other than their own in any relationship. It's un an unbelievable situation, whether you're dealing with a work situation, a business partner situation, or a personal situation. And if you find yourself constantly going along to get along, giving into their demands, just so that you can just live your life, then there's probably a huge red flag going on there. That sense of entitlement just trumps any notion of compromise. It leaves you feeling depleted. It leaves you feeling uh, lost, just to totally like your soul is sucked from your body. I know I've been there like a leech. I used to say it's like a leech. It's like a family member who doesn't want to give in on holiday plans. They insist on their way or the highway all the time. It's like, okay, whatever. If that's you, then think about that. They just cause tension all the time and you're just feeling resentful. Resentment is the poison of your life and it undermines the spirit of cooperation. Everybody just ends up feeling like exhausted before you even get started. So, and last but not least, we have self-awareness, the ability to introspect, to recognize one's strengths, and, and weaknesses, the self-awareness fosters personal growth and accountability. And they just, they can't look beyond that facade, that facade of it has to look perfect all the time. You have this profound lack of self-awareness. They have to uphold this, that I'm superior, I'm infallible. This inability to acknowledge their flaws and any potential for growth or meaningful introspection, it just it makes a huge difference in people's lives. If you have a boss that's like, I'm always perfect and everybody else is, you know, my minion, it doesn't work for very long. People don't stay. It's a toxic work environment when you're like that. And there you have it, five skills that a narcissist can never master. I'd love to know what other skills you think a narcissist can't master. I'd love to know in the comments. Let us know because this is a community because others will then be able to get this conversation going and you can share and you can support each other in the comments below. And also join my private Facebook group as well. Grab that free Crush My Negotiation prep worksheet. It's 15 pages. This helps so many people get started on their negotiations. And it's a powerful way for you to start leveraging yourself and create strategy so that you can win your negotiation right from the beginning, from where to begin, 
all the way to a win. We're here to help you, to support you so that you no longer feel disempowered in wherever you are in dealing with that toxic person in your life. And if you haven't subscribed here, do that now. And also share this, you know, like it and share it with people in your life that might need to see this. The next video that I want you to watch is your greatest revenge against that narcissist. What would that be? Hmm. Well, you have to go watch the next video to find out. So, but before you go, make sure you have subscribed here, hit that notification bell, you know, stick around because every day we're releasing brand new videos to help empower you. I'll see you in that next video, your greatest revenge against that narcissist. And remember today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. I'm Rebecca Zung and I'll see you there. Shopify helps millions sell billions around the world through their digital courses, through their digital products at the touch of a button on their smartphones, on social media, however they want, including me at shop.rebeccazung.com. You can access your store from all over the world, just the touch of a button from your smartphones, start accepting payments, everything you need to sell online, manage orders and develop relationships in one place and look fabulous doing it. Shopify is the commerce platform that is revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide, including my own at shop.rebeccazung.com. So right now, what you need to do is sign up for a $1 a month trial period at shopify.com slash best life, all lowercase, go to shopify.com slash best life to take your retail business to the next level today, shopify.com slash best life.